Oh, we're back with cold water wash. Well, okay, next thing up is, there was a white set of these earlier. There's a black set of UFC, um, what do you call these? Y fronts, I guess. And they're just like the traditional white ones, but these ones are black. Only thing is, I think somehow the elastic on these UFCs, uh, on the black ones, seems to have not lasted quite as well as on the white ones. I'm not sure, but I'd have to hazard a guess. These are, well, they're cotton and lycra, basically, like most underwear. They're, they're more cottonish than anything. And, you know, they're going in the cold water wash with everything else. And then they're going to be air dried. As per usual. And to be honest, you know, the, the little bit of um, where some, some of these articles do have. If it isn't that they weren't my absolute favorite thing, which sometimes actually is like worn to bits and then I sell them too. Because some people also want those. Is... Um, Actually, for the most part, they're almost like new because they never go in the dryer. And except for maybe the one or two times when they have. For whatever reason. And um, and almost immediately you can, you can notice the difference if that happens. If and when that happens, which is unfortunate. So yeah, I just... And this is a Puma pair. A good exa great example. Uh, size large. I believe um, these ones actually have no holes, no stains, which is actually kind of amazing, <laughs> to be honest. And there they are. Um, they're more like a size XL now. Perfect. Be beautiful for that. All right, now next. This is my hoax couture um, hoodie, and it actually it has a hole right in the front. You can see that, but it's actually just along the seam, so it can be repaired. It's along the seam of the hood, but it's all one piece with this garment. And it's it's imperfect. I mean, I must say, I think there's somewhere there's a cigarette butthole or something in there, but oh, I don't see that now. Although I see the fabric is a little bit snagged on the front. Um, no, there's no there's no burn hole actually, and there's no bleach damage, which is quite lovely as well. Yeah. So it's just actually a favorite old hood of mine because when you're wearing like very little, like I am at the moment, it's a great cover up. And it just, you know, because it just hangs. So nicely. Never really gonna get that repaired easily enough. But whatever. And again, it's I think it's just I believe it's just a s oh I can't even see. But it's basically just a square cut. And it's fairly high rising. It does not hang low. So that's attractive with jeans and pants and things like that where you don't really with your shirt necessarily. What else have we got? This turquoise top, which is for color alone. Oh, here's the back. Uh, it's Red Squad, which I believe is the Le Chateau brand. And yeah, just going in the wash. It's a great 
fuck? Um, not this one. This one. These are uh, one of my remaining bike jog straps. These are actually in great, fair, 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 fair to good condition, I'd say. Somewhat stretched here, but they were size large to look to begin with. Uh, because I think they were anyway. Yeah, large. Because I found the bike jog straps. Um, I found most jog straps, including bike, to the large size gave the larger pouch, which is what we were really, really after. So even though the waistband might be a little bit extra, nice having a large pouch as well. So uh, the same load. Oh, speaking of pouch, this is a complex pouch, not a large pouch, however. Um, but large as was available in this brand, which was Priya Penny Body, which is a Canadian brand from Montreal. And yeah, super sturdily well put together. Like, extremely good. Um, somewhat disappointed that this actually wasn't really that functional. It, I mean, it, it is fully functional, but it doesn't really help you make it fit better. Or it didn't really help me make it fit better. Um, yeah, and as it turns out, yeah, it's not really that comfortable having that, like, um, shoe thread actually like right against your genitals so you know you need to kind of reach it so that's not like the case anyway more a novelty to act than anything else to be honest but they are sturdy and wide and this great wide waistband is fantastic for the gym and so there actually has like practical value as a pair i mean to be honest as long as your package is not too large overly large because if it is uh, this doesn't, ha this isn't a very large pouch. It doesn't really have that much extra stretch to it. Well, I guess it has some, but the way it's cut, I would prefer if it went. Um, like this. We're out there. But that's just me. Okay. Um... More extinct brands. This should be called the Extinct Brand Show because the bike, the Priape, and now Piss and Vinegar. Uh, these, I believe, are a size medium. As you can see, and they actually, they're a fashion, they're marketed as, they were marketed as a fashion jog strap, but they were actually a fantastic athletic jog strap because they have a good sturdy elastic waistband all elastic which is ideal and the pouch is actually some kind of like breathable nylon and it's two ply i believe yeah seems to be and it's sewn with this pattern and it's stretchy and gives and that yeah i like it a lot so into the cold wash Uh, yeah, then there's these kind of long johns or athletic pants. They're three quarter length, right? They come up halfway up the calf or so. And they're intended to be skin tight. So these are armor brand. And uh, Under Armour brand, rather.
dial one two five four zero zero six five and fall winter twenty fifteen. <laughs> and I can't really tell what size they were labeled, but I would say they were labeled a medium, if not a large. Um, the thing is, it's all stretch, but they're meant to be. Uh, okay. So, what's next? Time for some tea. <sighs> Not a firecracker. Ooh. The number of firecrackers, of course. But there will be an amount as well. Um, this is an inside out t shirt. which I believe is Lululemon. And it's, I believe it's a medium. And I think it's going in there with the wash. Everything else. Um, black pair of body glove trunks. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, those trunks were large. Um, black, also body glove. Uh, tank top, coincidentally. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh, embroidered t-shirt. Embroidered and decorated, I guess you could say. Because, which part is embroidered? Oh, well, I guess it's not really very much, but it does have an embroidered sleeve. It is actually an applique sleeve with embroidery on it. It has the logo. That's for simple mathematics. This is a size medium. This is an American brand. Oh yeah, across the back, actually, interestingly, this is this is all embroidery work here. So if I open that up, but yeah, you can see that's three-dimensional simple mathematics. It says in lettering that's anything but simple. And then it says, what does it say? Money changed me. Huh. That's deep. Money changed me. Simple mathematics. Speaking of money, you know, this was about a four or five hundred dollar t shirt originally priced. I think I purchased it reduced for like $350 or something, $300 or something like that in Edmonton. But it is beautiful and it is going in the wash. Now when something's embroidered like this or has any type of applique, then I turn it inside out. Now you can see the embroidery. And you can see the excellent finishing of this shirt. You do get what you pay for sometimes. These, of course, are my infamous size large. Yeah, size large. 
Calvin Klein Buttonfly Trunks. Famous of the Tumblr photo shoots. And they're going in the wash. Now, I mean, they'd be lovely to wash in hot, but they're going in the cold because uh, fabric decay. A uh, nice pair of boxer, Joe Boxer trunks with novelty print from, I'd say, 1940s, 1950s novelty print. Size medium, I believe. A few more items here still. Um, these guys like these. So these are called cock socks. They definitely require a wash. <laughs> they are more or less a kind of transparent or translucent fabric. And they do have, they feature a sock kind of mechanism and design that they're famous for. And these ones are a size medium, which means even still when they're a little bit stretched out like this, they're snug indeed. And well, so, but they have a large pocket relative to them. So they're actually a really great fit. Edmonton. I want to say river boat, but I don't remember the name of what her name. Dragon boat <laughs> team. That's an athletic top. This cotton sweater. Size small, but it's cotton, 100% cotton, so it's just, I've allowed it to stretch. I've never put it in a dryer. So, even though it's small, it fits me just snug and nice. And then there's this black Vancouver Aquarium, which is Fruit of the Loom. Size large. Embroidered sleeve and embroidered logo I designed for the riveting experience. A ex feature exhibit at the Vancouver Aquarium in, in uh, 2000 or 1999. And this is the sweatshirt. It goes in the wash. Oh, so that's got embroidery. So we're going to turn that inside out. So, yeah, the black, unfortunately, I did decide to, well, unfortunately, I, deci I decided to wear this. I've not been wearing it. And it was basically black, but I, since I decided to wear it in a more regular circulation, it's, the black is, it's losing its black, like blacks will. But, uh, so long as I wasn't wearing it, I just remained it folded in a drawer. Neatly somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, it had all the, you know, it had all the color, it had all the essential color, even. Sixteen years after it, but last uh, two, three years, I've been wearing it a little bit more likely. Um, these can go in hot. Uh, another pair of two exists jocks, another two exists jocks drab. Um, similar construction to the pink purple pair with the orange base before, but the. This is like silk or on or something, it doesn't come off here. And again, I think these are large. No, they're medium. Actually, again, I think the other ones. Well, anyway, these ones are medium. Yeah. Which is not a super deep pouch, but uh, many stretches. It's adequate. Alright, 
Well, I think that's about it for um, cold water wash. I'm going to put in this green t-shirt. This one that I was wearing earlier because it does have it's a, got a nice color and you want to keep your colors nice don't get them in the heat so don't put them in the dryer and don't put them in hot water it's a Hurley and it says premium fit medium and uh, and I must say I think they make a good t-shirt and I like the print so I hope you like hanging out with me, sorting my laundry, and we'll see you on the flip side.